Section 10.2, probability and statistics. Uh, it says here, probability is a number between 0 and 1 that measures the likelihood that an event occurs. i uh, kind of give you an example picture to look at. Uh, obviously, down here, something's absolutely impossible when it's 0. Um, you know, rolling a 1 on the dice is 1 out of 6, 1, one sixth. Even chance to be 50 50, one half. Uh, something very likely is four fifths uh, and one, one uh, 100% of the time is a certain, no doubt about it, uh, kind of uh, situation. As it says here at the bottom, to find probability, uh, probability event, you take the number of successful outcomes and divide it by the number of possible outcomes. I go back to the, uh, you all know what a dice is. Um, the possible outcomes, there's six numbers on the dice, and uh, you have a one in six chance of rolling a one. So that would be um, how you find the probability of that dice. Last thing from this slide, um, you really should write down, copy down uh, this situation. Um, when something is a, a zero, it's going to be impossible. Obviously, one is certain. Even chance uh, is right here. Unlikely is like 25% and likely is 75%, which is obviously uh, 3 out of 4, um, 1 out of 4 right here. So uh, write those down because uh, as you see in the practice problems, you're definitely going to um, uh, need to know those. All right, uh, example problem here. It says there's an 80% chance of thunderstorms tomorrow. Describe the likelihood of the event. Well, 80% is 80 out of 100, which is... Uh, 0 0.8, uh, 4 fifths, if you want to look at it as a fraction. We we're looking at uh, between 0 and 1 on the last slide. Obviously, when it's 50 50, we have an even chance. We are, uh, uh, if this was 3 fourths, we're, you know, we're, we're way up here. So the uh, likelihood of uh, the event is likely, uh, and I'm going from the last slide. Um, because we are very high on um, the line here between 0 and 1. Uh, it says you roll a number cube, and uh, you're asked what is the probability for one of an odd number. This, this is an example of finding probability. Uh, in this situation, I want to know the probability of an odd number and uh, what that equals. Well, um, we know there are six possible um, things that we could roll here and the probability of an odd number well there are three there's obviously one uh, three and five so there's three possibilities so my probability is three to six of course I can reduce that and get one half so there's an even chance go back to uh, our likelihood between zero and one uh, there's an even chance when it's one out of two there for uh, our probability Here's an example of using probability. It says the probability that you randomly draw a short straw from a group of 40 straws is 3 over 20. How many are short straws? Well, um, the probability is 3 out of 20. Uh, we know there are a total of 40 straws, so I want to know uh, what um, it is over 40. Well, uh, obviously we've cross-multiplied. We've learned how to do this. I'm going to real quick look and see that 20 times 2 gets me 40, so I'm going to multiply 3 times 2, and I'm going to get 6. So there are 6 short straws um, <clears throat> in that group. All right, this goes back to the first slide here. It says there's a 20% chance of snow flurries tomorrow. Describe the likelihood of the event. Uh, this is one of your uh, practice problems for tomorrow. I'd like you to describe the likelihood of that event. One other one for you here. This is... Um, using probability like I just showed you with short straws. This is short straws again. Uh, you randomly draw a short straw from a group of 50. Um, the probability is 9 over 25. How many are short straws? Obviously solve that one as well. So just a couple practice problems. Shouldn't take you very long. But uh, good luck and we will see you tomorrow.